Okay, so do you know those like McDonald's Happy Meal like mystery packs where there's like random items that you can get? Well, that's what this video is going to be because today we're going to be talking about 10 random but very cool Lego ideas. These are all things where if you own them in real life, you would be flex certified. You would be like super cool. Everybody would have to hide their girls, trust me. We're gonna be talking about a crazy amount of things from a full on gaming setup to a freaking rotating hidden room bookshelf. The stuff that they have in the movies that are really super cool. So anyway, I'm not gonna be doing step by step tutorials on each of these ideas because well, that would make a very long and boring video. And my number one priority on this channel is not to be a boring dude. I wanna be super exciting and like, like ah, you know the vibes here on this channel. So anyway, Let's get right into this video. So for idea number one, we have a trampoline. Now this is a square trampoline that uses a couple really simple pieces like this 10 by 10 net. The cool part about this trampoline is the way that it was actually made. I showed this in one of my older videos which I will link down below, but there's this cool technique where you can take a plate and connect it to the net by using these studs. If you want your minifigures to have a fun time, then get them a little trampoline, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, this minifigure is not obviously having a good time, but anyway, he's just kind of a wimp. Like, let's not even talk about this dude. Like, who would be scared when you're on a trampoline? Like, seriously, that doesn't even make sense. So for our next design, we have a rotating curved TV. To make the actual TV, take eight of these one by four slopes, take some plates and connect them together, and then to make the actual rotating mechanism, you'll need to have a wrench piece hanging off of the wall and then take one of these newer pieces it's a modified tile with a bar and basically if you connect this piece to the back of the TV you can have it rotate in various directions is this a cool design yes is it a flex Yes, but we're forgetting a pretty important part. We need to also throw in some speakers. So to make these, you're gonna need a couple of these dish pieces as well as some studs. Connect a few plates on the back and finally, if you want to make it look like a cable is connected to the speaker, take one of these string pieces and connect it to a jumper plate. But come on guys, we're living in the 21st century, baby. Who needs cables when you have Bluetooth? So ditch the cables unless you wanna get tripped over, so yeah. For our next design, we have a full-on gaming setup. This is surprisingly really easy to make. For the actual monitors, you're gonna take some of these modified plates with the clips on the top. On top of that, you're gonna clip a two by four tile and you're gonna do that twice because what's better than a one monitor gaming setup? a two monitor gaming setup. And if you wanna go super cray cray mode, you can actually do three, but I'm not that crazy. I mean, come on guys. To go with the monitor, you can take a one by two or one by three tile to represent the keyboard and any modified tile to represent the mouse. In this case, I'm using one of these cool 180 degree cornered tiles or whatever the heck they're called. Now we got the gaming setup, but what about a chair? because that's pretty important. Now I'm getting PewDiePie vibes right now because this was actually inspired by PewDiePie's chair. This chair is a somewhat complicated design, but if you actually break it down step by step, it's pretty easy to make. This chair is primarily made out of hinges, a lot of moving mechanisms. In addition to that, you'll just need a few tiles and some plates, and also one of these two by two dish pieces on the bottom to allow the chair to actually stand up. You got your chair and you got your gaming setup, so go ahead and, I mean, what's the popular game now these days? Call Duty Modern Warfare, you can play that game. Or, well, I was gonna say Fortnite, but I mean, come on guys, who plays Fortnite now these days? That game is so old. Just kidding. I respect people who play Fortnite. I used to be a Fortnite bro, so I have every right to stand up for, the, for those dudes. Whether it's a cold winter day and you wanna warm your body up, or you're at a really super intense football game and you got tackled and something got really super sore and you just wanna loosen up a couple muscles, then we have a hot tub. Now hot tubs can come in various sizes, but this is a six by six hot tub. Just used a snot brick pattern on the side to give some paneling to the hot tub as well as some of these circular bricks on each corner. And for the actual water, my favorite part of this build, just some transparent studs. Next up, we have a swing. Now, swings can come in many different forms, but I like this particular design because you can fit multiple minifigures on here. But to make the swing, I used various bar pieces, various Technic connectors, and also some of these Technic pins just to hold the bars in place. For the actual swing, I used this modified plate 
with a hole in the center and also a, a lot of bars surrounding it just to allow extra space for the minifigures to fit on. You can use various different attachments like this one here with a circular bar pattern. Swings are seriously really fun. Like, I mean, I know that I'm practically a grown man, but even a grown man like me can have fun on a swing. You know, you don't have to be some kindergartner or whatever. <laughs> For our next design, we have an aquarium. So to make the actual glass, I use these vertical vehicle windshield pieces as well as a couple extra transparent panels. Of course, the most creative part of this build is definitely the actual aquarium, just using some tan plates for the sand, some flower pieces, and modified studs for the coral. You don't have to take this exact design, but you can play around with the pieces you have and see what you can come up with. And you know, you can't forget, we have our fish just chilling in, in the aquarium. Now this here is an arcade machine. If you guys haven't seen one of my older videos, I made this modern mansion and I actually had a separate room just for an arcade room and I included this so I figured I'd showcase it to you guys. This is really simple just some snot brick techniques involved. I used a blue and a red stud to kind of represent the buttons that you use or the various controls to play the game. For the actual screen I used this 2x2 two two slope piece and lots of colors because arcade machines can be very colorful and have a nice retro vibe because that was one of the primary focuses here. And finally, for our last design, we have one of those cool little rotating bookshelves that you see in the movies. The, the best example I can think of is Indiana Jones. This is actually, out of all the designs, probably one of the simplest because there's one piece that is really required and it's so simple. It's a common piece. It's this rotating whatever the heck this thing is called. It's a two piece assembly that allows you to rotate anything you really wish. Build a bookshelf of your choosing. I prefer to make mine one stud wide because it allows the bookshelf to actually slide in between the bricks without too much friction. And anyway, fun design. Play around with this and see what you can come up with. So that was the video. Those are the 10 completely random designs, but at the same time, designs that are you know, pretty neat. If you guys happen to make one of these, comment down below. I'd love to hear what designs are your favorites. Please make sure you subscribe and also check out my Instagram. A lot of you guys forget to. We're almost at 2K followers there. So if we can get up to 2K by the end of this week, that would be absolutely dope. So anyway, do your part. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. See you on the flippity flop and uh, keep on building.